All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 212, Essays in Occultism by Dean Harris. Now, this is written from a religiously Catholic perspective, but one that's uh, a little bit more tempered, kind of semi-rationalistic at points. So it's actually still fairly interesting. Link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon, 107 pages, so fairly fleshed out. Second and third links are to my books blogs uh, if you're interested in other uh, semi-academic commentary. This one goes a little bit beyond. It talks about demonic possession. Uh, by location, spiritism, some of these weird phenomena that were in vogue as topics. Basically, anything that that, that post-Victorian people were talking about in their in their parlor uh, over a cup of tea. Basically, it's covered in here, uh, and this was the sort of material that was common at the time. By the way, I just hit the mother load the other day and obtained about 30 new occult works added. So I'm set through the end of 2020, basically at this point including stuff that needs to be illustrated. Just as an aside there, uh, there's no end of the occult literature. Um, this particular work is notable uh, for its secondary content more than the analysis of the author. Like, like because it's from a religiously Catholic perspective, I'm like, yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, but some of the tales are like weird. Like, there's one uh, story specifically about a ship at sea, and someone sees an apparition, I think it was the second mate sees an apparition of a person sitting at the captain's desk writing on his slate. He goes to the captain, tells him the captain doesn't believe it. They go to the slate, they find it has been written on. It's like steer northwest or something was posted on it. And they're all mystified. They search the ship, don't find anyone. And then they, they do steer northwest. He's like on a whim. He's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm not, it, something weird's going on. I might as well. You know, it's on our course, I guess. And they find like a ice, uh, lone iceberg with a wrecked ship stuck to the side of it and a bunch of stranded passengers that had hit it a few days before. Uh, and this is uh, apparently, supposedly, not 100% sure, supposedly it's a true story. It's within the realm of possibility. Now think what you will about apparitions or something, you can make that up after the fact, or think it's a hallucination or whatever. If that indeed did happen, it is a rather mysterious event in any case. And second mate saw something northwest and is like, oh, this will be funny, I'm gonna troll the captain and save people at the same time. This will be a fun story to tell the grandkids, possible. Another one about a priest who actually, uh, I can't remember the name, uh, you know, offhand, but uh, had uh, fallen into a cataleptic state while praying, actually. Spent a couple uh, of hours in that state worrying the whole convent and then snapped out of it and said, oh yeah, the Pope just died, by the way. And then his apparition was supposedly seen <laughs> attending the, de the bedside, the de death uh, bed of the Pope himself. Uh, again, supposedly a corroborated story, although I couldn't find anything about that particular one when I looked up the individual, I do remember that. Another one about groups of uh, Native Americans contacted by the Spaniards that already knew about Christianity. Uh, in that case, you could say, well, maybe someone who was you know, Catholic Spaniard had been blown off course, actually did teach them about Christianity preemptively some decades beforehand. It is possible, and not likely, but I mean, some stories can be rationalized. And there is some rationalism within this particular work, but a lot of it is taken seriously. It's like, uh, in the modern day uh, Catholics, it's like at the Vatican, they don't say, well, Ouija board will cause you to be possessed. That's Protestants may, may uh, fire and brimstone Protestants anyway. The Catholics have largely abandoned that anyway. Uh, but back then it was considered a topic of great concern because there were planchettes, things of that nature, uh, which, by the way, are combined with Ouija boards now, uh, originally not so much. It's an interesting topic altogether. So if you want something from that you know, late 1910s era with that sort of weird material, from that perspective, this is definitely a work for you. It's interesting. Uh, some of the anecdotal... Uh, secondary tales are are quite fascinating when you actually read through them. Again, link in the description of my edition of this work is on Amazon. Second and third links to my books blogs. That's about all. Peace out.